Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to be talking about the quotient rule with regard to the properties of exponents. Before we actually discuss the quotient rule, let's look at this idea. And that's going to help you to understand where the quotient rule comes from. So if I have 2 to the 8th power divided by 2 to the 5th power, and without using the calculator, don't use a calculator here. So that's going to be 2 times itself. Remember, 2 to the 8th means 2 times itself 8 times. So I'm going to have 8 factors of 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then over here in the denominator, there'll be 2 factors of, of 5. And then we reduce. So these 2's will divide out. So 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 2 one time. I can do the same thing here. 2 goes into 2 one time, 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 and 2 goes into 2 one time. And so the only thing left is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, times 2 times 2 times 2, and, and go ahead and write it as 2 to the third power. Divided by, and then um, all these are just factors of 1, so 1 times itself, in this case 5 times, is 1. And then any factor divided by 1 is that factor, so it'll be 2 to the third power. So notice I, I have 2 to the 8th power divided by 2 to the 5th power, and I end up with 2 to the 3rd power. So the question becomes, and remember your base is 2, you see the base is 2, but the question is how can I get a 3 from the exponents 8 and 5? So what operation can I perform on 5 and 8 to get a 3? So if you said subtraction, you're correct. So um, in the previous lesson you saw that when you multiply like bases you add exponents. Here when you subtract like bases, I'm sorry, when you divide like bases, you subtract exponents. So this becomes 2 to the 8 subtract 5, which is 2 to the third power, which is what we saw here. So when you subtract like bases, subtract like bases, like bases, I'm sorry, when you divide like bases, excuse me, when you divide like bases, all right, let's do this again. When you divide like bases, you're going to subtract exponents. All right, and so the quotient rule says this. So that, that's the idea of the quotient rule. So when you divide like bases, you subtract exponents. So the quotient rule says this. When you have a to the n power, and you're dividing it by a to the n power, so when you divide like bases, you're going to subtract exponents. So it's going to be the, so it's going to be your, your like base, which is a, so you're going to keep the base, and you're going to write it for, uh, using the exponent that's in the numerator, subtract the exponent in the denominator. All right, so that's your quotient rule. So let's look at some examples. Number one, so you're going to simplify. Okay, number one, you have x to the 10th power divided by x. So again, using the quotient rule, when you divide like bases, you subtract exponents. So this is 10, this exponent is 1, so it's going to be a 1. So that becomes x to the 10 subtract 1, which is x to the 9th power. So x to the 10th divided by x is x to the 9th. Number 2, you have y to the 14th divided by y to the 6th. So again, using the quotient rule, when you divide like bases, subtract exponents. That's y to the 14th subtract 6. That's y to the 8th power. So y to the 14th divided by y to the 6th is y to the 8th. So if I, if I write out y to the 14th y factors 14 times, and then the y to the 6th y times itself 6 times, and I reduce, I'm going to end up with just 8 factors of y. Number 3, you have 4 to the 7th divided by 4 to the 4th. So again, don't use a calculator, just use your quotient rule, just use your properties of exponents. So in this case, a quotient rule. So you divide like bases, you subtract exponents. So it'll be 4 to the 7, subtract 4. So it'll be 4 to the 3rd power. Now, if it said simplify further, then you want to say 4 to the 3rd is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. All right, number four, you have 
negative 6 to the ninth power divided by negative 6 to the 7th power. Again, don't use a calculator. Don't use a calculator. Use your properties of exponents. So I'm dividing like bases. You subtract exponents. So it'll be the base, which is negative 6. Make sure you put it in parentheses because the base is negative 6, and it is being raised to the exponents in the numerator. Subtract the exponent in the denominator. So I'm using a quotient rule. Divide like bases. Subtract exponents. So that's negative 6 to the second power. And again, if they leave the answer like this, if they ask you to simplify further, then remember negative 6 to the second power means negative 6 times negative 6, which is a positive 36. Number 5, you have x to the 11th, y to the 8th, divided by x squared, y cubed. Now, Notice this time you're dealing with several variables, with two variables. So again, you can use a quotient rule on the x's and use a quotient rule on the y's. So the idea is this. You can rewrite this as a product of two fractions. So you can say x to the 11th divided by x squared times y to the 8th divided by y to the 3rd. And so notice that x to the 11th times y to the 8th is a numerator. And then x squared times y cubed is a denominator. And then using a quotient rule, divide like base, subtract exponents, this becomes x to the 11, subtract 2, and then y to the 8, subtract 3. And so 11 subtract 2 is 9, so that becomes x to the 9th power, and times y to the, and then 8 subtract 3 is 5. But again, you can go directly from here to the answer, just using a quotient rule. All you're doing is using a quotient rule, so you can just do that in your head. Divide like bases, subtract exponents. So be x, your base is x, 11 subtract 2 is 9, your base is y, 8 subtract 3 is 5. Number 6, you have um, a to the 6th power, b to the 7th, divided by a squared b. Again, doing the same thing, rewriting this, but again, you can go directly to the answer just using the quotient rule. But if you want to rewrite it like we did here, you can. That's going to be a to the 6th divided by a squared, so dividing like bases, b to the 7th divided by b. Now using a quotient rule, this becomes the like base is a, so you're dividing the uh, like bases, so be a to the 6th subtract 2, so it's the exponent of the numerator, subtract the exponent of the denominator, times b to the 7th subtract, if there's no exponent there, so it's going to be a 1. So the answer is a to the 4th power, times b, 7 subtract 1 is 6. But again, you can go directly from here to the answer. Number 7, you have, you have um, 30, x to the 8th power, divided by 6, x to the 5th. All right, now this time you have coefficients. So you can only, you cannot uh, use a quotient rule on these coefficients. You can only use a quotient rule when you have a base raised to a power. Okay, so if you look at this, the way you want to approach this, I'm going to break it down like I did before. So I'm going to say 30 divided by 6 times x to the 8th divided by x to the 5th. And then remember, 30 divided by 6, if I reduce, they're both divisible by 6. So that's 6 into 6 is 1, 6 into 30 is 5. So again, don't use a quotient rule on this. You can't. Because you're, you're, you're not looking at like bases. These are just coefficients. So you want to reduce this. Now you can use the quotient rule on here because the base is x, the base is x. I can divide um, like bases by subtracting exponents. So that's going to be 5. 5 over 1 is 5. Times x to the 8 subtract 5. And so the answer is 5x to the third power. But again, you can go directly from here to the answer. Number 8, this time you have 32, x to the 5th power, y to the 7th, divided by 8, x, y squared. Again, you can go directly to the answer, but let's just rewrite it like we did here. Remember, these are your coefficients, so that's 32 divided by 8. You're going to reduce this like you would in a previous course. So these are not dealing with like bases. You're just reducing 32 and 8 because they're both divisible by 4. Or in this case, um, 
8, and divisible by 8, times, and then x to the 5th divided by x, times y to the 7th divided by y squared. Now you can use a quotient rule in these variables, because these are like, you're dividing like bases. Okay, over here, 8 into 8 is 1, 8 into 32 is 4, so I'm going to get 4, and then divide like bases, use quotient rule, so it'll be x to the 5th subtract 1, and then y to the 7th subtract 2, and then your answer is 4 x to the 4th times y to the 5th. 5 minus 1 is 4, 7 minus 2 is 5. Okay, number 9. You have 9 a to the 8th power, b to the 12th, divided by 27, a cubed, b to the 5th. All right, again, just rewrite this using, again, you can go from here to the answer, but let's just rewrite it using uh, the same idea we used here. So it'll be 9 divided by 27 of my coefficients times, and I'm going to rewrite this, the rest of them, using the like basis. So it'll be a to the 8th divided by a cubed times b to the 12th divided by b to the 5th. Over here, 927, so I'm just going to reduce this. They're both divisible by 9, so 9 to 9 is 1, 9 to 27 is 3. So I get 1 over 3 times, I'm dividing like bases, so this is where I'm going to use a quotient rule. So 8 subtract 3, so it'll be a to the 8 subtract 3 times b to the 12 subtract 5. All right, now I have 1 third times a to the 8 subtract 3 is 5, times b, and then 12 subtract 5 is 7. Now, the way you want to write your answer is like this. You want to write it as one fraction. So that's going to be um, 1 times a to the 5th times b to the 7th is a to the 5th, b to the 7th, divided by 3. Or you can write it as 1 third a to the 5th, b to the 7th, just like this. So it doesn't matter how you write it. So you can say 1 third a to the 5th, b to the 7th, or that means the same thing as a to the 5th, b to the 7th, divided by 3. Because see this one right here? That's, that's this one right here. And then this 3 is this 3. So just notice that this 1 is this one right here. And then this 3 is this 3, okay? So it does not matter how you write it. Most students, though, will, will leave it like this. Next semester, you're going to notice that you're going to rewrite those, those uh, fractions. These are going to be called rational ex uh, expressions. You're going to write those rational expressions like this next semester. But you can write this as this. Okay, it does not matter how you write it. Okay, number 10. For number 10, suppose we had this. You had 12 x to the 14th, y to the 13th, divided by 36, x to the 9th, times y. So number 10 is going to be just like number 9. You're going to write, you're going to do it just like number 9. So again, you can go directly from here to the answer. No big deal. But if you need to write in your steps, this way I would do it. I would say 12 divided by 36, which is your coefficients times and divide like basis, the x to the 14th divided by x to the 9th times y to the 13th divided by y. And then reducing 12 over 36, 12, 36, they're both divisible by 12. 12 into 12 is 1, 12 into 36 is 3. So I'm going to get 1 third. Now remember, this, this is not 3, this is 1 third. Times x to the 14th subtract 9 y to the 13 subtract y, uh, subtract 1. That's right here is understood to be a 1. So 14 subtract 9 is 5. 13 subtract 1 is 12. I get 1 third x to the 5th, y to the 12th, and there's your answer.